I absolutely hate meme stocks. And there's a very good reason for that. Because the fundamentals just absolutely sucks. And as you guys know, we are very hectic when it comes to fundamentals. But Justin, I must tell you, I this, this time last year, we saw meme stocks everywhere and everyone was talking about it. We did a lot of com or a lot of videos and we got so many hate comments. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as always, we don't always have the popular opinion, um, but like we always say on this channel, we tell you guys what you, what you should know, you know and not what you want to know. So um, in our case, when we look at companies, we obviously look at the fundamentals behind the companies and with meme stocks, there just isn't any at all. It's just basically a gambling machine. You put your money in and you are hoping to come out richer at the end of the day. So what do you think about meme stocks lately? I haven't been seeing them going around, but but AMC actually did make a comeback a little yeah. while ago. Yeah. Um, I can't remember why, why, why did it rally? Uh, I can't say I know because I'm not really following AMC. Um, I, don't, I don't believe in meme stocks. I'm not invested. But I, I think Ryan Cohen was yeah. Ryan Cohen from Chewy obviously had something. Yeah, he had something to do with it. But um, but I think it raises an interesting discussion and raises an interesting debate around uh, meme stocks and and really a whole new space in investing. What you have is you have David versus Goliath. You have the advent of the retail investor really wanting to stick it to the short sellers or the hedge funds because typically your short sellers are the hedge funds. Yeah, but, but that is that is now very, very ironic. It is it ironic. St it started out that way and then it was just the retail investor screwing over the other retail investor. And and so that and so that is the problem in a capitalist society, right? Ultimately, you know, what once once the predators have finished eating all the prey, they'll start eating themselves. That's just the way it is. And uh, you know, looking looking at how that how it started out, I think it's a really interesting story. There was a documentary on Netflix about it, and I think it's it, it, it shows the level of frustration that the average working man has with manipulation in the markets. And I, and I think we but, can all agree that yes, manipulation I mean, and, in the and markets. that frustrates all of us. There is a lot of manipulation in the markets. Having said that, though, there is also this very real problem that uh, there's a lack of knowledge and, and information. And so what may seem as manipulation to the average man on the street is simply people who are more educated taking advantage the game of the market. Correct. And so I think the way meme stocks started out with this whole interplay between uh, retail investors, hedge funds, Wall Street bets, and ultimately trying to stick it to the short sellers. Because the concept obviously is, if uh, the hedge funds are short on a stock, if retail investors come and buy enough of that stock, eventually the hedge yeah. funds have to force the short squeeze, force the short squeeze, and they have to cover their positions. Yeah, liquidate the positions. So. Ultimately, drives the price higher. The problem is, and I've said this from the very first stock that I reviewed, the moment a sale off starts to happen, no matter how well intentioned you are, you could find yourself at the bottom end of that of that uh, of that. Movement. And that's what happens to most people because then they go on stock to it and read it, yeah. and everyone comes with. Just hold, you know, so, don't, don't pay for answer thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's a very interesting dynamic, but the reality of the situation comes back to this. And I don't think we possibly the most well-equipped people to talk about the meme stocks essentially because we don't believe in it. We believe yeah. in value investing. We believe in buying companies. And I have this very simple... Uh, I, I personally have never shorted a stock. Never. And and it simply because it goes against my philosophy, even though actually if I if I were to short, well, I can pick a list of 100 yeah. stocks that should be shorted. Well, to me, it just doesn't make any sense because, okay, yes, you can double your money, but you, you can lose everything. So uh, to me, it's just that risk reward doesn't make sense at all. Well, for me, it's a, it's a much deeper level. I'm an entrepreneur and I don't believe a bit, a, a, on betting against businesses. Even if I see a business's fundamentals are poor and I don't believe in the business, because I'm an entrepreneur and a capitalist, I still want the business to succeed. Yeah, so if you are invested in Tesla and if you are shorting stocks, you should feel really bad about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, just, I don't believe in shorting. Um, it, it goes against my human nature. I want to see businesses succeed. That being said, I think this is a really interesting dynamic. And so the advent of meme stocks, I think the biggest problem with it is you've got this this FOMO that has crept into the market. And what you've mm. got is a group of retail investors following each other like the herd uh, go to slaughter and ultimately they're making decisions best based on a mass market opinion yeah well it's 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 so easy these days with social media you form yeah. a group everyone is in the same mindset you kind of get that energy together and now everyone's going for the same goal you know it's a team that uh, that was just established online yeah. and everyone's going for that same for that same outcome but so, are they really a team because at the end of it once no, the sale no, starts no, no. to happen nobody gives a damn about the other exactly and 
And so that is that is my problem with meme stocks. So the question, of course, Stav, is what happens with meme stocks going forward? Is this going to continue to be a thing? Meme stocks never existed like a couple of years ago. Now all of a sudden it's a thing. So the question is, is it going to continue to exist? Is regulation going to step in and, and, and sort of curb this sort of interplay between the short sellers and, and, and the short squeeze players? Is it going to be something that changes us or is it, are meme stocks here to stay? Well, I think something already came in. I'm not sure what it is, but we've been seeing meme stocks tapering off like big time, you know. At at some point last year, it was it was happening on a weekly basis. Now you, you but hardly let's be see fair. that happening every more, uh, anymore, except for biotech stocks, but that's a different reason. But let's be fair. Most of the meme stocks that were being invested in, people who invested what we call funny money. It was stimulus checks. It was mm. uh, money that they weren't spending going out entertaining themselves because they were locked down during COVID. There was an unnatural amount of money in the market, in addition to which... We yeah. had that, mass that, that, printing true. of money. True. So that has fueled the meme stock thing even worse. And so I think if you look at... And I, and I think then it went from meme stocks into crypto again. Yes. And so, and so I, think, and I think the problem is why, potentially why I, might, I think that this problem is going to start to taper with meme stocks. As money becomes more expensive through raising of interest mm. rates, as money becomes uh, in shorter supply because there's less money yeah, being you're printed. you're not getting it for free anymore as well. Once stimulus and, and social grants and all these things start being taken out of the system, these meme stocks are going to see less and less action because ultimately those who have the money still are going to be the ones who made the same decisions in 2020, the same decisions in, uh, in 2010, the same decision in 2000, which is invest in companies that have strong fundamentals, good cash flow, good management, and are going to be here for the long term. Well, I also think a lot of the guys that were investing in some of these meme stocks have been shaken out of the market by leverage. So yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I, I think they le- learned their lesson the hard way. So um, I don't think they many of them are, are around there or these days, even when when we had that bull run growth stocks yeah. were still doing absolutely incredible. When I went back over those meme stocks and looked at the performance, then all of them were down already by 80%. So I haven't looked at them in a very long time. I can only assume they're down even more now with the with the sell-off we've been seeing. Um, you obviously still be able to get your loyal AMC holders. I must <laughs> tell you though, there was there was one stock in particular, and I and I and I actually made a comment when I put this video out last year. It was Wendy's, and Wendy's, Wendy's. fell fell. Let's call it victim at this point because I don't think there's another appropriate term to describe but they be- they became a victim of the meme stock play and there was this interplay between the short sellers and the meme stock buyers and and the short squeeze and i actually i said it in the video i said i, I remember i watched that video i have a feeling that for once the the meme stock and wall street bets guys have got it right they're backing a company that actually has got relatively good fundamentals has had a really bad run because of COVID, has suffered dramatically because of it and they actually they have a chance to revive the company by supporting it through stock purchases right yeah, but unfortunately i think that wendy's stock squeeze never happened it right? never happened and fell by the wayside but here's the point right if if wall street bets really took it to the man if they were really interested in taking it to the man and shoving it to the to the to the hedge funds they should go and find value companies that actually have good value that have good underlying fundamentals but are being shorted for no apparent reason and so an example is if hedge but, funds but that is the problem because hedge funds doesn't short companies with really good fundamentals not, they, if not they find necessarily some, not necessarily yeah, because they usually find something wrong Sometimes there is sentiment behind it, and sometimes there are instances where there's aggressive corporate takeovers, there's aggressive mergers and acquisitions, and sometimes the hedge funds, whether we like to agree with it or disagree with it, they do manipulate the market in favor of deals. Oh, no, happening. of course. I mean, we, we know that. It's and so, in those instances, if, if, if Wall Street Bets was really serious about sticking it to the man, they should find good companies that deserve the support of the retail investor, put their money behind the stock, and let the company. Shine. Look, the original guys that started Wall Street Bets, I mean, they're obviously, they're, they're extremely clever. Yeah. They're very clever. But unfortunately, like, when Wall Street Bets hit the news, everyone started jumping in. There were a couple of million people on that. And I believe they actually moved away. They started their own platform once again. So what's, whatever is on Wall Street Bets anymore is not the original, uh, like, clever dudes that were there, you know. There, yeah. No doubt there's still a lot of clever guys in there. But if you have, to, you have to sift through them, through the comments, and that's virtually impossible because those guys will not really... Not really that active. 
Yeah, so it gets look, lost in all the comments. I mean, my bottom line opinion on meme stocks is it's not a thing I'm investing in. Uh, I'm watching this thing like play out with AMC and GameStop. GameStop, I also said, was a fairly interesting one because GameStop used the opportunity to pivot their that's, business. That's also bit. still going, eh? Yeah, but th- but to be fair, and I did say this in a video I put out. So I said they're using this as an opportunity to pivot their business. They started moving into uh, more of the digital space. They started uh, moving towards NFTs. And before anybody was talking about NFTs, GameStop had started talking about I NFTs. I bet those guys were selling shares, those <laughs> insiders, eh? No, well, I mean, the, d- the share dilution was Yeah, ridiculous. the share dilution was ridiculous. But, but that's obviously a clever move. I mean, if, if they didn't dilute shareholders at that point, it would be stupid. But listen, <laughs> if you think AMC is a business that's going to revive itself, you must have your head up your backside. No, that must do a that must do a pivot in order to to still be there. <laughs> you know, so so guys, we'd love to know what your thoughts and comments are. You know, have have you participated in any meme plays? Um, what are your thoughts on where it's going to end up in the future? And more specifically, as part of your portfolio going forward, will you consider meme stocks as part of your investment strategy? Or is this something you need to steer completely clear of in the future? Are you worried about raising of interest rates and obviously making sure that you make good stock decisions? Let us know in the comment section down below. We really value your guys' input and we'd love to get your feedback.